All right, I want to show you how to change font in uh, Blackboard. So let's just say you do your typing in a document like this, which I always recommend because if you uh, if you compose in Blackboard and then something happens, um, it shuts down, it will not automatically save it. So I would always suggest having a document open here that you compose your posts in. So let's just say here's your post right here, okay? So I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to go over here and let's just say I'm going to reply to this post right here. It's all the same way, whether it's an original post or you're replying, it all looks the same. Notice all these features and tools up here. This is just like Word almost. Not as robust, but it's the same basic text block editing features. Okay, so I'm going to paste it, right? Now this looks okay, um, but let's just say I want to change it. Notice there's lots of options for changing. So let's just say you paste it in there and it's huge, right? You paste it in and it's like, uh, you know, way too big. Um, what you can do is select it all, right? Just do a select all kind of thing or drag and drop, however you select. Uh, and then you change things, right? So let's just say you want to make it bigger. And let's just say you want to change the font to this, right? Maybe you paste it in and it looks like this. You're like, that's not what I want. So you select it all again and you go back. Typically, you're going to want to make it 12 points and use a standard font like Ariel or Georgia. Um, Georgia looks good um, there. And it's a little small, actually. Well, that's Ariel and Georgia. Okay, so that's, that's not a bad look. Georgia, 12 points, you know, that might be a little small. Maybe you can't even read that, right? So as long as it's not huge. And again, if you want to make it all even, notice how this kind of came out a little goofy here. You know, just select it all and then change it, right? Sometimes you have to kind of go back and forth to get it to, to look the way that you want it to look. All right, and then you save it. And... Look at that, it's a thing of beauty there, right? Now, if you paste, if you do all this and you're like, wow, it still doesn't look that good, you know, it's too big, just edit it again. Click on edit, there it is, you select it all again, you change it, you hit submit, and you know, there it is, right? So you always wanna double check it to see how it looks once you are done. If it looks too big, whatever, then you gotta go back in and change it. A little bit of practice, you'll get the hang of using the uh, edit box there. So anyhow, that is the end of this tutorial. I hope it worked.